So I actually wrote Kiss by the Devil 1 in 2007. I actually started the process in 2005. Um, it was kind of started out kind of as a dare to myself because I was featured on a reality show and I had this movie stuck in my head that I wanted to put out and I basically you know I was nervous at first of course I didn't know what type of creativity that I had inside as far as what to do with a novel I had written um, a book right before that called From Poverty to Power Moves and I kind of you know went through my life story when I was younger which proved to be a lot easier than writing a novel of course because the novel is all creativity you kind of build it on the character but once I got into it and I kind of developed the story and kind of, you know, moved forward with the whole drama behind it, I felt myself becoming um, more anxious and uh, a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear, a lot of suspense was in my um, in my real life. And that kind of transcended into the novel. And I think a lot of the people that actually uh, read Kiss by the Devil one, they actually feel that when they're reading it, they feel the drama, they feel the scandal, they feel the suspense, you know, they feel that sense of that urgency that I felt, you know, once I was writing it. I do appreciate a saucy cover. Aww. This cover right here makes me want to read it immediately. The author's name is Deshaun Taylor, and he has actually, you know when you walked in under the steps me and Charlamagne were there? That's where he's doing his meet and greet. So if you want to just check him out. I told Deshaun, because this is true, I always tell you guys on the radio, too, my favorite books start with a look like this, gun, a line of blow, a phantom grill. <laughs> yeah, and the screw face. I love it, I love it. And again, it really, it really, I didn't think that it was going to blow up this big and I didn't think it was going to really go this far because I was really writing to express myself. I definitely had the story built up for a long time. So to now see, you know, almost eight years later to see, you know, what it developed into and what it kind of, you know, kind of exploded into is definitely, um, it's exciting, number one, and it's definitely, um, it's uh, rewarding at the same time. So The Final Kiss, um, definitely my most emotional book of the four books, um, definitely, definitely, definitely my best book. I had a lot of fun writing this book, but I did feel a sense of pressure, of course. Kind of felt a sense of liberation once the book was done because I did feel that the Kiss by the Devil series was beginning to consume me because it was a lot into the story. Um, this last one is like the apocalypse. This is the insane. This is the climax of all those years of drama, suspense, uh, relationships gone bad, uh, scandal, corruption. It's all of that kind of balled into one. And uh, I had a lot of fun writing this one, but I definitely felt the need to get some therapy after I wrote it because it was totally insane. So for all those that have been highly anticipating this next novel, I know you guys have been sitting, just begging for this book to come out. I just want to say thank you. Seriously, I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, man. I appreciate every single word that was read, every single line that was savored, every single book that was bought. I definitely want to say I thank you guys for the support. And I know for a fact that the fans are definitely going to love The Final Kiss. And I'm excited to bring it to you guys.